Now, who doesn't want a better, longer, more enjoyable sex life? And if I told you that by doing just a few pelvic floor muscle exercises every day, you could be well on your way to fulfilling that dream. Let me explain in a bit more detail. You may not believe this, but there is a survey out there called the Orgasm Survey where nearly 5,000 women have taken part in answering questions relating to their sex life and apparently most of them are not getting the kind of orgasms they deserve. The ones, however, who bother to exercise their pelvic floor claim to experience significant improvements in their sex lives and in the frequency and intensity of their vaginal orgasms. The key finding is the unequivocal evidence that a strong pelvic floor is key to a better sex life and plays a major role in the ability to achieve orgasm. The pelvic floor is one of the most under-exercised muscles in the body. Lack of effective exercise, childbirth and menopause mean that there's often a lack of sufficient contact between the vaginal wall and the penis, so your G-spot doesn't get the stimulation it needs. Exercising the pelvic floor develops a much greater awareness of the pelvic floor, the vaginal walls and the G-spot and builds the neural pathways between the brain and the vagina that lead to more frequent orgasms of greater intensity. Improving the pelvic floor muscle tone means you become more aware of your muscles and can contract your vagina at will to squeeze your partner during intercourse and this benefits both of you. The importance of the pelvic floor and the use of pelvic floor training to improve orgasm was first publicised following clinical trials way back in 1952 by Arnold Kegel. He said, Sexual feeling within the vagina is closely related to muscle tone and can be improved through muscle education and resistive exercise. 78 of 123 women complaining explicitly of sexual deficits achieved orgasm following the training. Sadly, through no fault of their own, most women don't know how to exercise this muscle correctly and confidently. So, I'm going to attempt to explain as clearly and as explicitly as I can, how to work the pelvic floor muscle properly. So the easiest way to find the pelvic floor is to stop your flow of we the next time you're on the loo. Really, that's basically the easiest way to do it. But another way to find the muscles is by imagining you're trying to pick up a pea with a straw that is just tucked up inside your vagina. Probably not your normal Friday night sport, but effective for this purpose nonetheless. Try not to squeeze your bum or your tummy while you're doing it though, because you're actually attempting to draw in and lift up the vaginal and bum muscles. So now while you're doing that, squeeze the muscles as tight as you can for a couple of seconds. I'll do it with you. And then relax. Keep going if you can and count how many Kegels you can comfortably do in a row. And that's your base level. You can use it to measure your progress if you want. And if you only managed a few, then that's how many you should try to do each time you practice. 